Question 11, part C. Solve the inequality 4 over x plus 3 greater than or equal to 1. The denominator of the inequality on the left hand side is a simple linear function, x plus 3. And because it's in the denominator, x cannot equal negative 3, since we'll get division by 0. Now we can solve this inequality by multiplying both sides of the inequality by the square of the denominator. That is, we're multiplying left hand side and right hand side by x plus 3 in brackets squared. So after cancellation, we get 4 outside of x plus 3 in brackets greater than or equal to x plus 3 in brackets squared. Notice that the inequality symbol has not switched around because we're multiplying by the square of the denominator which will be greater than 0, in other words positive. Expanding the brackets on both sides of the inequality we get 4x plus 12 greater than or equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. The idea is to form a quadratic inequality and then by graphing a parabola and noting which part of the parabola we're interested in, we can then solve the inequality that way. So let's move the terms on the left hand side over to the right hand side. So we get 0 greater than or equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 or x squared plus 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. Now x squared plus 2x minus 3 is a monic quadratic whose graph is a concave up parabola crossing the x-axis at negative 3 and positive 1. And we can get that by factorising the left hand side and that's easy enough to factorise. We get x plus 3 in brackets times x minus 1 in brackets less than or equal to 0 and that's why we have x intercepts at negative 3 and positive 1. But if we go back to this step here we know that x cannot equal negative 3. And we're interested in the part of the parabola that's below the x-axis. But in the case where x equals 1, we also accept the case where the parabola is at the x-axis or at the point where it crosses the x-axis. Therefore, the solution is x is greater than negative 3 and less than or equal to 1. Now, showing that on a number line, we have an open circle above negative 3, a closed circle above 1, and we join the two circles together with a line. 